77 under square root plus 49 under square root plus 33 under square root plus 21 under square root upon 11 under square root plus 28 under square root plus 3 under square root. We have to simplify it. Let's try. Now let this be equals to x. So x equals to 77 under square root. We can write 11 times 7 plus 49 under square root as 7 times 7 under square root plus 33 under square root as 11 times 3 under square root plus 21 under square root as 7 times 3 under square root upon square root of 11 plus square root of 28 as 7 times 4 under square root plus square root of 3 or x equals to when a times b is under square root we can write it as square root of a times square root of b so here we can write square root of 11 times square root of 7 plus square root of 7 times square root of 7 plus square root of 11 times square root of 3 plus square root of 7 times square root of 3 upon square root of 11 plus square root of 7 times square root of 4 plus square root of 3 or x equals to now in these two terms we can take square root of 11 common so write square root of 11 parenthesis square root of 7 plus square root of 3 plus and in these two terms we can take square root of 7 common so square root of 7 parenthesis square root of 7 plus square root of 3 upon square root of 11 plus square root of 7 square root of 4 is 2 so we can write it as 2 times square root of 7 plus square root of 3 or x equals to now 7 under square root plus 3 under square root is the common factor here so we can write it square root of 7 plus square root of 3 as common and then remaining factors are square root of 11 plus square root of 3 upon square root of 11 plus now 2 times square root of 7 this is also equal to square root of 7 plus square root of 7 equals to 2 times square root of 7 so we can write square root of 7 plus square root of 7 plus square root of 3 or square root of 7 plus square root of 3 upon times square root of 11 plus square root of 3 upon we can write square root of 7 plus square root of 3 together these two terms and then plus square root of 11 plus square root of 7 together now let us consider square root of 7 plus square root of 3 equals to a and square root of 11 plus square root of 7 equals to b then we have x equals to a times b upon a plus b or 1 upon x then equals to a plus b upon a b now a b is the common denominator here so we can write 1 upon x equals to a upon a a b plus b upon a b a and a here gets cancelled and here b and b gets cancelled therefore 1 upon x equals to 1 upon b plus 1 upon a now let's put the values of b and a here so 1 upon x equals to 1 upon now let's put the value of b and a here so 1 upon x equals to 1 upon b here is square root of 7 plus square root of 3 so the value of b here is square root of 11 plus square root of 7 plus square value of a is square root of 7 plus square root of 3 now we rationalize the denominator for that we multiply and divide by the conjugate of the denominator conjugate of x plus y is x minus y so conjugate of square root of 11 plus square root of 7 equals to square root is square root of 11 minus square root of 7 and conjugate of square root of 7 plus square root of 3 is square root of 7 minus square root of 3 therefore 1 upon x equals to 
1 upon square root of 11 plus square root of 7 times square root of 11 minus square root of 7 upon square root of 11 minus square root of 7. We multiply and divide by the same number because we can cancel them out like this and it is equal to multiplying it by 1. So, no difference in the number then plus 1 upon square root of 7 plus square root of 3 times square root of 7 minus square root of 3 upon square root of 7 minus square root of 3 or 1 upon x equals to square root of 11 minus square root of 7 upon now if square root of 11 is a and square root of 7 is b then it is a plus b times a minus b differences of square that is equal to a square minus b square so we write square root of 11 square minus square root of 7 square plus same here if square root of 7 is a and square root of 3 is b then a plus b times a minus b so it is square root of 7 minus square root of 3 upon square root of 7 square minus square root of 3 square or 1 upon x equals to square root of 11 minus square root of 7 upon remove the square root with this square so 11 minus 7 plus square root of 7 minus square root of 3 upon 7 minus 3 or 1 upon x equals to square root of 11 minus square root of 7 upon 11 minus 7 is 4 plus square root of 7 minus square root of 3 upon 4 now 4 is the common denominator so 1 upon x equals to we can take common 4 then square root of 11 minus square root of 7 plus square root of 7 minus square root of 3 now plus square root of 7 and minus square root of 7 gets cancelled therefore 1 upon x equals to square root of 11 minus square root of 3 upon 4 or then x equals to 4 upon square root of 11 minus square root of 3 now again rationalize the denominator so x equals to 4 upon square root of 11 minus square root of 3 times square root of 11 plus square root of 3 upon square root of 11 plus square root of 3 or x equals to 4 times square root of 11 plus square root of 3 upon square root of 11 square minus square root of 3 square or it is 4 times square root of 11 plus square root of 3 upon remove the square root with the square so 11 minus 3 or x equals to 4 times square root of 11 plus square root of 3 upon 11 minus 3 is 8 now 4 times 2 is 8 so x equals to square root of 11 plus square root of 3 upon 2 this is our answer so what we did we simplified the radicals and then rationalized the denominator therefore this is equal to square root of 11 plus square root of 3 upon 2 how did you solve it let me know in the comment section